Tonight on News 13 follow up, the Myrtle Beach Fire Department helped rescue a dog back in May after it ate heroin and cocaine. News 13's Gabby Jonas spoke to the deputy chief who helped revive the dog and get it to an animal hospital. In about 20 minutes, Chief Deputy of Myrtle Beach's Fire Department, Vincent Betanazzi says all hands were on deck to save the Chihuahua's life. So it's just, it was a smaller dog, it was like a Chihuahua mix, and uh, it kind of like what you would see for like a normal like um, overdose. Uh, her, the respirations were really shallow, uh, was really not responsive to anything. Uh, the guys were pretty concerned with that. On the corner of Ocean Boulevard and 26th Avenue South, a Chihuahua named Sophie overdosed on heroin and cocaine at the Palmetto Vista Motel in May. But Anazi says his team was ready when a person brought the dog to the station asking for help. Another person brought the, actually brought the dog, didn't decide on waiting anymore, and brought the dog to the fire station in their vehicle. And then just the guys from the fire station were basically trying to render aid. And then uh, the police department was there as well. Although it's not a normal occurrence for them, Betanazi says his team was trained to use Narcan on the canine. He says they started with a dog mask to allow oxygen flow to the body, followed by two rounds of Narcan until the dog started to regain consciousness. Um, we, we are trained to, to administer Narcan uh, on canines. Actually, our guys go through it because we do have some dogs, service dogs and, and things for the police department so that's possible that they can be exposed to narcotics. After volunteering to rush Sophie to the Animal Emergency Hospital off of Beaver Run Boulevard, he says she was able to start breathing on her own and eventually brought back to normal. And the, the hospital staff, as soon as we got there, they were aware that we were coming. So, I mean, it was, it was as quick as possible. They basically took the dog from us and they're already rendering care. Bet and Ozzy says Sophie is fine and is certain she will find a new loving home as soon as she is put up for adoption when the case concludes. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Gabby Jonas, News 13. Myrtle Beach police charged the dog's owner, Shane Harris and Sarita Young, with mistreatment of an animal. A judge sentenced both to 15 days in jail and also a $1,000 fine.